What it is, people. B Rock from B Rock Survival here. I guess before I start doing this series called Urban Wisdom, I should probably explain who I am and why I have the right or the credibility to talk and say what I'm saying. Well, as you can clearly see, I'm a melanated man. I'm a black man. So it's like, what does that have to do with anything? What that has to do with anything is the is who I am. I'm a melanated man that grew up in an urban environment. But at the same time, I grew up doing wilderness things. Um, I started doing them when I'm 41 now. Started doing it when I was like 13 years old. I had a neighbor who was a member of the Australian military. Neil, rest in peace. Passed away from smoking too, much, uh, smoking too many cigarettes. Uh, cancer. And he used to always like take my bike. I would go over to his house. He would steal my bike and like hide it in the woods. And I would have to always track my bike. I would have to go find it. He would teach me to look for the tracks and broken branches and all this type of stuff. So he um, also got me started with um, archery, camping, knife throwing, all that type of stuff. Right. So off some uh, crocodile Dundee type stuff. So... Growing up, clearly I didn't really fit in because people are a product of their environment. So when you're hood and you've always been in the hood and you've only been in the hood, you are you just only do hood things. Now, I'm somebody who grew up in an urban environment, but then I also do, did wilderness stuff. So I'm half city and I'm half wilderness. <clears throat> so... My perspective on things is going to be a lot different than a lot of other dudes, especially a lot of other black dudes. Because, you know, um, people in psychology, people defend that which they are. And a lot of dudes, if you're like, especially if you hood or whatever, and you, you know, you represent the street or whatever, you're going to defend that shit regardless. And this is why you have so many problems in society. Because in our culture, in our melanated culture, gangster rap and whatever has been weaponized against us. But that's a totally different story for another day. Um, so yeah, I'm the type of person I was told by, you know, growing up. By other melanated males, other black dudes. You know, you do white boy stuff. You know, because I was doing archery. And I was doing camping. And I think that this stuff is relevant today because the world is steadily changing. If you want to, If you want to take the processed approach and be like well you know it's just world war three da, 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 da. but you have other things going on from a spiritual level where the sun is doing new things people are seeing extra dimensional beings in the mall um people talking about reptile people underground look the the, the, the antarctic circle the world's a lot crazier than a lot of people realize and i think that well, I don't really think. It's just going to get to the point to where in the very near future, people are going to realize that the way that they've lived life so dependent upon other people or dependent upon a society, the society that we, as an American, I'm an American, so I don't know what the other societies are like, but in America, you were born in a society to where you're absolutely dependent. And that's going to end up biting a lot of people in the ass real soon, and it's already starting to bite people in the ass. So, this series urban wisdom is going to be more about urban philosophies from the perspective of a melanated male <clears throat> who's half city and half wilderness so it's going to be extremely unique tune in for that subscribe for that turn on post notifications because i'm going to tell you the truth that society hasn't told you that your parents haven't told you um it's not their fault we were all taught the same things and it was a lie so I'm going to go ahead and be breaking that down and dropping some of that knowledge that I think is going to be something you're going to really want, going to want to take into the future, um, regardless of what happens with this country one way or another. So, yeah, make sure you like this video, subscribe, turn on post notifications, share. Oh, and by the way, um, I'm taking this to a whole other level. I'm not going to be like a lot of the other... Um, content creators i have a, I already before i even started doing this video i already have like a website this was totally i used to be oh so okay so also <laughs> i 
I used to be a personal trainer for like 10 years as well as so I already mentioned that Neil got me into things like camping archery and all that type of stuff at 13 well little known fact my grandfather boxed my father boxed I started boxing at 7 I also started doing martial arts at the age of 11 so <laughs> I was on the chess team in second grade um and I used to play the trumpet and the violin. So everything that I'm going to tell you is going to not only just be a combination of uh, ur me being urban, but me being wilderness, but also me being um, 41 doing martial arts since the age of 11 and boxing since the age of 7. So I think it's kind of like 28 years of experience at this point in time. So yeah, if you like martial arts, wilderness, survival, all that type of stuff, you're gonna want to you're gonna want to stay tuned for this because I'm gonna drop some knowledge on you that I guarantee you nobody else on YouTube is talking about because it is very hard to find somebody who has my background, little bit of wilderness with a little bit of urban, while at the same time having almost three decades of um, martial arts experience as well as firearm experience as well. I, <laughs> I keep surprising myself with so much stuff. So yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, and share for that. Tune in, turn on notifications. Check out my website. I'm also going to be doing a newsletter for everybody to help people get ready. Um, this whole channel is going to be health, fitness, and survival for the culture. You don't have to be melanated to just subscribe. This is going to be for everybody, but I'm really doing this. Uh, I'm not going to try to be like anybody else. I'm going to just be myself, and I am a melanated man. So what the knowledge that I drop is going to be definitely... Um, for the culture that's what I know that's who I am so yeah melanated people black people I'm gonna tell you this right now the stuff that I do is stuff that our ancestors did which was never taught to you in school um all that ignorant ghetto crap about oh you know black people we don't go camping get that out of your mind like right now because not doing that type of stuff and not being familiar with the wilderness is gonna bite you in your ass in the very near future um, but yeah, it's time for us to get back to our roots. So thanks for uh, checking out this video. Like, subscribe, share for like the third time, whatever. Go to my website. Link is going to be in the description. Um, sign up for my newsletter. All of the content that I create is going to be on there. It's going to be, um, I have blog articles because you'll see that on the website. I have my podcast. I'm going to be doing these videos from the car. Um, I'm going to also be doing health and fitness stuff to get you ready to uh, be able to survive survival based health and fitness that's my specialty that's what I'm gonna do me putting all my stuff together self-defense tips if you want to know how to knock somebody out with one punch where to hit them go ahead and check that out all of that's gonna be in the newsletter the newsletter is free so go to my website link is in the description sign up for the newsletter check it out I'm just talking to try to get this to like 10 minutes I don't know if it's gonna hit that, hit that or not whatever and um, I'll just mention it now since I'm already making a video I will be having Patreon as well as merchandise. That's going to also be on the um, website and probably linked in the description. We'll see. I'll probably put it in the description too. So show some support. Show some love. I need some more gear. I want some new stuff and I want to be able to make this content for you all full time. I personally would love to have a big studio so I could do like these big demonstrations for y'all. So thanks for tuning in. I'm going to assume this hit 10 minutes until my next video which i'm probably going to do in a couple minutes because this was actually really fun this is your boy b rock survival signing out health fitness and survival for the culture peace